Workplace inclusivity is hugely important to me personally because I've spent the last 25 years researching inequalities around race and education. And what the data shows us and what all the research shows us is that if we have far more inclusive workplaces, then that works in several ways. First of all, it enables individuals to think about what inclusivity means. And secondly, it's better for the workforce. Our work at Birmingham will impact policy making for the better, particularly around issues of inclusion. So for instance, my work is focused on universities, but we're going to be much wider than that. And we're going to also work with other institutions to see how we can use our research to take that forward so that it makes a difference in the real world. For us in central government, it's a way for us to, um, we can learn about all the research that is being done. Um, and then, you know, we're well placed also to sort of share that out to, um, to businesses and to other people that might be interested and to use it as we are advising our ministers to make, make future policy as well. Often it's a topic that is either under-researched or not researched properly or the data that we gather as a society is not divided or nuanced in the right way to understand a lot of these issues. So I think um, gathering a community uh, of people, of researchers, of partners to really focus on diversity and inclusivity is key to elevate the types of issues uh, into both discussion but also more importantly action across organisations. If we don't understand what's happening in the workplace, we can't campaign and lobby to change it. So understanding what's actually going on in people's working lives is absolutely vital to making workplaces fairer and better and stronger. It's only when we know what's going on that we can campaign to change.